गुरुरु विष्णु गुरुरु देवो महेश्वरा गुरुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्मय श्री गुरुव नमः paying my highest respect to all the wisdom present in the universe we start today's discussions today's topic chaos and chaotic conditions let us first understand what chaos is it is a state of confusion in which we do not know what to do where to go what is the next course of action and we think that everything has finished no life remains when you are in a chaotic conditions in your business you think business is over when you are in a chaotic conditions with spirituality god becomes your enemy you start thinking that he doesn't exist and if at all he exists is not a good person and because he has not done anything good to me when you are in a chaotic conditions with your family your husband your wife they are no good your children you start thinking that everyone present in the universe present in the family present in surrounding present anywhere even your best friends you start thinking that they are enemies all of us has passed through this state in some portion of our life every day was not a sunny day for any one of us and when we start passing through this state everything appears to be caring and caring nothing somebody says to you don't worry my hands are there to hold you and you think no 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 it is not possible nobody can hold me at this state because when confusion comes in whatever we try to do our confusion does not go away look of course confusion always comes when the situation is adverse when good times comes in we the ordinary people decide the time and we define times of two types good times and bad times when good times is there and you are passing through a rosy things time flies a year two year three year four year gets passed and when the adverse times comes the state of confusion comes in you sit in the morning he starts thinking what should i do to whom i should contact nobody will help me i think i have this little confidence in him but i'm sure when he uh, when he listens to my story at this time he will also say no to me and then what happens we try to block all of our all of our friends we try to block our phones we try to do 
everything which we are not supposed to do when the chaotic times comes in. Every decision we try to take at the time is in, is in the wrong direction because of the confusion. And as a result, what happens? Your adverse times becomes bigger and bigger. And then you sit in the morning and from morning to evening appears one year. Time doesn't even move. One second appears one day. And we remain in that state of confusion for a longer time. We spoil almost our life. Now what we need to do when the adverse times comes in? Look, time as you have defined are good and adverse. But in adverse times you don't need to be chaotic. You need to think, you need to talk to some of the persons, I always say that any problem comes in your life, talk to several people. Somebody will have solution. But when, when it is a problem, then you can talk with everybody. When it becomes chaos, then confusion is so high that it is not easy for you to talk to anyone else. So, if you want to solve your chaotic situation, you have to solve it into two states. The first state is that how can I convert this chaos only in problem? Then another big problem with us human being is we want solution for everything. We think that there is no solution for this problem. But in reality, we do not know what our problem is. I used to go, when I was a young child doing a small business, I used to go to one of my gurus and the first question he will ask me, smiling, he, was, he had a million dollar smile, you know. So he will ask me the first question, any problem? And I will smile back and say, no problem. And his immediate response will be, that's the biggest problem. Because he says, that there is no human being which does not have a problem. So there are two conditions only in this case. Either you have reached to an enlightening stage where problems does not matter to you. Or you do not know your problem. So whenever you pass through the chaotic state, please remember that every puzzle has more than one solution, at least. And I say that every puzzle in the life has more than 10 solutions. So the moment the confusing states comes in, you first understand that you should come out of the confusion. And how can we come out of the confusion? By defining our problem. By understanding that yes, every problem has got at least 10 solutions. So if still I am in chaotic conditions, not understanding what to do next, that means I do not know my problem. And so from this, train your mind, talk to your guru, talk to somebody you trust and 
try to come out of the confusion to understand your problem. Maybe you are losing in business. Maybe trust issue is going away. Maybe there is some issue with your health. Maybe your eyes are not functioning properly. Maybe your skin is not functioning properly. Maybe your belly is not functioning properly. Maybe your hairs are not functioning properly. And then you get confusion. Oh my God, I had such a beautiful hair 15 years back. Believe me, I think nobody had more beautiful hairs than me. And none of them are here now. So if you start putting yourself into confusion, into the state of confusion, you will not be able to make any decision. You will get shyness, fear, shame, a little bit of hatred towards others, little envious nature with the successful people. And all these emotions will not allow you to take a decision to come out of your problem. So the first thing, what you need to do, you, you decide that yes, I am in problem, but it is not a chaos. Who says that it is not a chaos? There are two, three people who can say this to you. And the first and the most important person who can tell you that it is not a chaos, but only a problem, is you. Okay. And if you are convinced that it is only a problem and not a chaos, you have won the battle. You have won your war. Now, second state comes, how can we solve the problem? Look, I have said that you break it into two parts. Number one, that chaotic condition is not chaos, it is only a problem. Okay, and then if it is a problem, let us search the problem. Most of the times, we always try to find the solution. Why business is not running properly? Because I want more money. And therefore, I go to my father. Give me some money so that I can run it smoothly. But money was not the problem. Problem was some of our decisions which we have taken in the past and has gone wrong. So, if this fear, this hatred, this same, you stop for time being, stop that nobody will be able to help you, stop that you are not capable to do business, stop that you are not capable to do anything, you stop thinking that you are useless, stop thinking that life I had in past, I will never get back. It is true that life you had passed, any moment which has passed from our life, we are not going to get that moment. We are not going to have the same eyes as we had 15 years back. We are not going to have the same hairs as we had 15 years back. Not the same health conditions which we had 15 years back. But yes, you are going to have same, not same. Same is a small word for me at the moment. More happiness. Much more happiness if you decide to become happy. Definitely, you will be more happy than you were 15 years back. So the first thing is, 
in order to avoid the state of confusion, what we need to understand that today can be better than yesterday. Today is definitely better than yesterday. And then we must stop living in the past. Because as long as you will live in the past, you will not make any effort to live in present moment and not try to solve it so that you can go in the future. So you must stop living in the past. And how can we do that? By training our mind, by, by thinking that nature wanted to teach me a lesson. I think I was very egoistic. I think I was not taking the right decisions in the past. And because of that, whatever has happened, it was the result of the actions we have taken in the past. And this was the nature's method to change my course, to change something in me so that I can become more strong and more spiritual, more connected to nature. Second thing, when someone, someone very close in my family, he was doing some business and he lost everything. Then he, and I was very small at that time, the guy came to take advice from an old man and that old man was my grandfather. And so he came for an advice and you know what my grandfather said? I remember it so nicely even today. You have lost nothing. Guy says, I have lost everything, Dadaji. I have nothing now left with me. And my grandfather says, you have not lost nothing. You have lost nothing. Everything is with you. And then he explains how. He says, if health is lost, a great of you gets lost. You are healthy still. If wealth is lost, nothing is lost. And when the trust in yourself and trust in your higher self gets lost, you lose everything. So he says, you have only lost wealth. You, it's nothing. You will regain it. Just try and try to do your business again nicely. He went back, started doing business, and now he is a multi-millionaire. He has a beautiful home in Delhi, and he runs a beautiful business. And then, after we grow a little, one of things what I read in, in Shiva's saying, Shiva is the masculine energy, and he was discussing with feminine, and a beautiful quote was mentioned there, and that quote was that destruction is the starting point for any creation. There was an earthquake in Gujarat. Uh, from our ashram, it is about 400 to 500 kilometers away. The whole city got destroyed. And that time, because I own a small foundation, a small trust, so we had gone there because 
people did not have food and they, they did not have water. And in the time of crisis, all of us try to help others. So we have gone there to distribute a little water. People were so nice that they will take one bottle and will say, okay, please, I need only one. Go ahead and give it to somebody else who needs it. And the city of Bhuj, city of Gandhidham has developed again much better than they were 20 years back. So, Siva's work is destruction. And he was explaining how destruction is necessary for making a new creation. You cannot build your house on top of your house. If you really want to build a new one, a better one, a good one, a house of 21st century, then you will have to destroy the house of your 17th century. Same is your thoughts. So maybe when this chaotic conditions comes to you, remember this sentence. Maybe nature want to build me afresh. Maybe nature want to take care of me afresh. Maybe what I was doing was not the right thing for me. Maybe I have to start a new thing. Maybe it is taking me towards source, towards almighty. And maybe because of that, this destruction is taking place. And I should not worry about the destruction which has taken place. I should focus my entire attention to find the causes of destruction, seal them, plug them, and move forward to make a fresh, nice life. Another very important thing I would like to share, the moment a chaos comes to us, I think I'll call it problem, but a chaotic condition, chaotic problem comes to us, you know what we do the first? I stop my yoga. Okay? I stop my chanting. I stop my showering. I stop all the routines which I was supposed to do and which I was doing. But now I do not do it because of this chaotic condition. How, how this is related to your chaos? It will further make us down because if we are not living a normal life, then our health will deteriorate. Our blood pressure may go up. And instead of reducing the confusion, confusion may increase a little. So first thing, now you remember, in case any chaos comes to you, any problem comes to you, don't sit down on the dining table and say, no, I don't need to do anything today because chaos has come in. We have to kick it out. Okay? And go and take your shower, take nice breakfast, take everything what you were doing earlier, do a little yoga, do a little chanting, and maintain your spiritual consistency. Have trust in you and have also trust in God. Have trust in your higher self. That will make you remain happy and give you strength to fight it out, give you the strength to find the solution for your problem. Very important thing which I think I always discuss, 
and I want to share it once again is when problem comes to us, we always try to become aloof. But we must always have at least one person in our life, maybe our wife, maybe our mother, maybe father, maybe a friend, and maybe a spiritual guru, or your one good teacher, or somebody to whom you can trust the most. If you can have two, it's good, but no one should have less than one. Come what may, whatever may be the situation, whatever may be the difficulty, whatever may be the problem, you must always try to share every good thing, every adverse thing, every confusion, every ego, everything what you have, you must at least share it with one person. And if you ask my advice, I would like to share it with the whole world. If I have a problem, I will share it with everybody and somebody will of course find the solution for me. I was incapable of finding the solution but not every one of you. Some one of you will definitely be able to find the solution for me and will make me more happy. So one person should always be there with whom you can open your heart totally. And even if you are not in crisis, not in a chaotic conditions, make a point to discuss among the, your family members, heart to heart. Once in a 15 days, if not once in a week, I will recommend once in a week, but if not once in a week, you can, you can talk to your family members, your guru, your uh, everyone, if you are running a business, with your managers, with your subordinates, if you are, whatever you are doing, involve everyone. And once in 15 days, talk heart to heart. Then you will have a confidence at the time of chaos, at the time of chaotic condition, that you will be able to discuss your problems with them. When you have not taken this, then you will sigh. I was always talking good things with him. How can I take adverse things? How can I say that I do not have rice today to eat? If you do not have rice to eat, there is nothing wrong. We will buy rice tomorrow again. And we must share this with at least one person, if not more, if we want to live a nice life. One more thing, source resides always in our heart. Whether we are doing good or bad, the divine energy is present in your heart always. And this divine energy present in you has got the solution for every problem. We call it intuition. So, and what is intuition? The first thought what comes to your mind is the intuition. Immediately after the first thought comes another thought which is an illusionary thought. Because every diamond is always covered with carbon. So, follow your intuitions. In any adverse conditions, your intuition is your best friend. Because that is the divine energy present in you and, and it will always be able to 
guide you. Then define your strength area. What you can do the best. Try in those moments to work in your strength area most of the time. If you are a best artist, then you cannot go and do the chemical engineering. So, whatever is your strength area, we must always be able to define what our strength area is and we must try to work always in our strength area. And last thing which I would like to share here, it is very true when you are passing through chaotic conditions and true in general too that we the human beings love a struggle. When a struggle is not there, you don't like our life. We have to change this nature of yours. If you want to become something different, you have to do few things differently. And do not struggle. Find the solution. You say, then what? There is a very normal and general question which comes out from here that how can we? How can we find the solution without struggling? Believe me, solutions has got nothing to do with your struggle. Your struggle is your nature. You have decided to struggle. What are you doing? I am struggling. For what? For achieving this. Not only in chaotic conditions. In every condition, you always want to struggle. What we do? We stop struggling in normal courses. And specifically, if you are in a chaotic conditions, do not struggle at all. Keep your mind calm. Think that confusion is not going to help me. This has happened. This is a problem. What can help the problem is to find the solution. Not, not having the confusion. If you have the confusion, chaos will increase, the problems will remain as it is. You will never come to know about the problem. Problem could be something different. And we are trying to have the confusion somewhere else. Most of the times it is like this. And I tell you for some of the example, somebody has a beautiful face and suddenly face started having some fire signs. Now you are applying cream to make your face all right. Problem is not in your skin. Problem is somewhere in your energy. And what happens when you go into the state of confusion, you never come to know about what your real problem is. You start treating the symptoms. Symptoms of businesses making losses. Symptoms of something in your relationships. Symptoms of something you know is not good, otherwise I should have spent the rest of life with you. These are the symptoms. When the state of confusion is there in us, what we start doing, we start treating our symptoms and not finding the real problem to eliminate the problem completely from our life. I wish from the core of my heart where the divine energy resides 
that all of us be able to take the chaotic conditions normally without any confusion, try to search the real problem, having faith in themselves and having faith in Almighty, faith in the social systems and we must live happily and in peace. In Sanskrit we call it Om Shanti 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 Thank you.